The next thing we're going to look at is breaking things down even farther. Maybe I want to know not only what percent of each gender came in, but what percent of each gender came in for each type of animal. So, for example, how many male dogs came in, how many female dogs, how many uh, male cats, how many female cats. So I can have Excel do that for me. And what I'm going to do is set up what's called a cross tab or a cross table. And in the columns, I'm going to put the type of animal. So cats, dogs, birds, and other. And in the rows, I'm going to make one row for males, one for females. And I can tell Excel to count up for me. I don't even have to go through and count how many cats were male. Excel will do this for me using just a slightly different formula than the count if formula. So in the formulas tab, I am going to insert a function. And what I'm looking for is count ifs. Note the S on the end. That's the plural means I'm going to meet more than one criteria. So I searched for that and it pops up right on top. Count ifs. I'm going to say OK. And it's going to let me do a couple different criteria. So my first criteria is I do want it to be a cat. So I'm going to highlight the animal type. And zero was the code used for cats. And then I'm going to, I can enter a second criteria. My second criteria was I wanted it to be a male. So I can enter in that I want it to go for gender. And I want to enter in a zero for male. And I could say OK. And this one has changed because it's percents. So if this happens to you, just because I had it in the same cell as before, you just have to make sure you go back. And we just want to change this to a general number. So we want it to be 3. So just make sure it doesn't say 300, because we did not have 300 cats that were male. And that's a common problem that if you are reusing the same cells you've used before, you're going to run into. Now I could do the same thing again. Insert or formulas, insert a function, the count ifs is right there. I want this to be a cat, so I want my animal type to be zero. And I want my gender this time, because it's in the female row, I want my gender to be female, or one. Now, you can do a shortcut by copying and pasting that formula. And just be sure before you get out of there, you do press enter, because you don't want that formula to go away. And I can paste that. Now, the only thing I have to change is that A range, the animal type. I still want it to be male, so I'm just going to change the animal type to 1 for dogs. So this is a little shortcut. And I'm going to go back and change the percentages at the end. And then I want to change this to 2 for birds. And then I want to change this to 3 for other. And I might go and copy the formula just once more, just so I don't have to change two things. I'm going to push Enter before I move on. And I'm going to do this with the same idea. Now I just have to change this to 1 for dogs. Two for birds, and three for others. And I do have to go back and change this percent. I don't want it to be a percent. So I'm going to just make sure that that's a general number. And now I have the breakdown of how many cats by each gender. And I can do the same thing, copying and pasting. You don't have to present these as a... Um, percent. You can just leave them as counts. I just made an error in my formula. So let me get rid of that. For the purposes of this project, leaving it as just the count is fine. And I'm just going to format my cells by sticking a border in there. And that's ready to copy and paste over to Microsoft Word.